Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Wrath the Oblivion Afterlife Overview. I basically record every intro on Wednesdays and then on Thursdays we have a release going on. This week is a little bit different because today we have this gaming showcase which at the time of making this video I don't know what happened. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is not gonna be the only release for today. Wrath the Oblivion is an exploration horror hide and seek game coming from the creators of Curious Tales of the Stolen Pets, Apex Construct, developers that really are well known already in the VR industry and I've played pretty much every single game of theirs. This one's gonna be an exception though because it's a horror. I have no idea why they went this route but I guess they wanted to try out something else. I don't know. Wrath looks to me like a story game where you uncover the mysteries and what's going on in the universe based on World of Darkness and looking through the trailer it has some interesting mechanics that I've not seen like in a horror used before unless you treat Half-Life Alex as a horror game like pulling mechanics from a distance, maneuvering physics, graphically as well looks fine. So knowing fast travel I wouldn't be surprised it's actually like a pretty polished horror experience even though I'm not experienced in many and it looks captivating enough to dive into this storyline, even for me. Am I gonna do a playthrough of this game? Obviously not, currently I'm just gathering my mental powers for Resident Evil 4 but I can only do so much with my horror batteries so as always I'm just pretty much gonna check out the mechanics and just the overall vibe of it. Hopefully I'm not gonna be over scared in first two minutes but it should be interesting nonetheless so let's see what's up with that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Options. Free locker, obviously. What does it mean? Projected avatar? Moving the stick will move the player, but not the camera until the stick is let go. Ah, so this is actually what we've seen in Resident Evil 4 showcase, like out of body teleport. Seems like to be a new locomotion method. Smooth turn per usual. No vignette. Seems to be fine. Let's play for two minutes. We'll see. I don't know how it's gonna last. The Barclay Mansion. The place where I died. No! Oh my god. Everyone must pay. Oh, please. I'm kinda of squinting in my eyes just in case. Please stop. I, I, I'll do anything. I, I don't want to die. Dead. 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 Wake up. Whoa. This is like Amnesia 2 vibes. Cool. <laughs> the sky looks unbelievable. Like this is actually something real that you would see in real life. Like the clouds and just the details. Awesome. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Can I sit? <laughs> Why it's open? I don't like... Oh, wow. Am I a heretic? I mean, the storyline is that I died, right? And I'm gonna be a ghost traveling through the mansion to uncover my... <laughs> oh, shit, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the only part that I'm gonna play. <laughs> but I love the graphics already. Grab items using... I mean grab, obviously. Right? I mean, I'm trying. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to flick upwards. So like... Like really suddenly. You can't grab something like slowly. It has to be... Like snap. Kinda like in half of Alex, but more sudden, so that's fine. press this. Can't I crouch in real life? Okay, I can. That's better. Huh. <laughs> You're blind. Or just ignorant. You have a talent, boy. Your camera sees things. Things the rest of us only dream about. Interesting. 
sprint. I mean, this is not technically a sprint, it's like a fast walk, so whatever. I love that you can have this combination of just pulling and just... Don't try to trick me. <sighs> and we are here. Dude, the sky looks amazing. I'm still kind of amazed. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> so people actually live like this? So much for showing the truth about LA nightlife, Mr. Fancy Photographer. <sighs> Maybe it's time for some truths about the rich and famous. All the debauchery you can stomach, but with the edges filed off. I'm not so sure about those edges. Anyway, if it pays the bills. Okay, let's see what this billionaire nutjob wants from us. Who are you? Oh my god, dude. Holy moly. I'm trying, but it is really hard. It's essentially like psychologically hard. And the cast grows. Are you also here to bask in the glory of Howard Barkley? Not that he's here to meet you. Don't worry. He's cooped up in his sick room and will probably not die before giving you a proper welcome. So, you're the photographer. Welcome to Crazyville. Hi! We Meet just... the rest of the cast. Tom Shepard, purveyor of expensive shit and know-it-all asshole. Hi! Uh, glad you could make it. And let's not forget the queen of mediocrity, Miss Medium Walters. <laughs> it's Meadow, actually. Nice to meet you. You're here to photograph the seance, right? Yeah. We're just here for a couple of days. Like the rest of us, honey. Just like the rest of us. You know how the song goes, right? Ed is dead. Welcome to the afterlife. <sighs> okay, I'm done here because I can't <laughs> really. But it's not like I have to play more because most of the mechanics were already presented for me. The sound design is actually crazy because I can hear the little creaks in the walls or just like if someone would just step from the stairs. It's like so hard on my head, like just being here for some reason. I don't know why, but just the pure atmosphere of this game is like hard to take in, I guess. I don't know. The graphics look amazing. I'm pretty sure from the spectrum of horror games that I've tried, this is the best looking game for sure especially like you can easily read this maybe not this bottom text but like this seems all clear to me it really is on a high level in terms of graphical fidelity mechanically i just saw this pulling and just grabbing things it's very nice to see because usually in horror games developers just use simple controls and tricks to play with you but this seems more advanced from the others so i'm pretty sure you can hear those sound effects it is nuts here and i don't want to spend many more minutes in this mansion but for a horror enthusiast this is i would imagine a hit it, actually and I didn't even meet anything moving just I was getting scared by just projections from the memory but I can imagine what this game is really about you can see like how hard I tremble so seems amazing I'm out of here <laughs>